morning and welcome to TTTV News from Amongst the Bushes. I'm Donna Strainer. Breaking news this morning from Killy Clotter. Lance Armstrong, the multi Tour de France champion and confessed drug cheat, spoke freely during one of the breaks from filming the now famous Oprah Winfrey confession in the Village Inn in Killy Clotter. He stated that the main reason for throwing all sorts of dope into his bloodstream was to dull the pain of seeing Carrick Moore winning what he described as a rake of O'Neill Cups since 1995. A self-confessed Killy Clutter fan, Armstrong stated that he only stumbled across the athletic boost the drugs gave him after going out for a ride soon after Carmen beat Moortown in the 1995 final. A secret camera caught the following conversation while Mr Armstrong and Oprah were outside the village inn on a smoke break. Ah, oh, Oprah, there was some handling. All I wanted to do was kill the abject oppression I was feeling whenever news would filter through that Carrick Moore oh, won the next county title. And this was pre Black Gormley days, even. I used to down a bottle of powers every day, but then I moved on to the hard stuff EPO, blood transfusions. Anything to take my mind off the thought of them who were celebrating under the night, thinking they were deadly like. Ah, it was only when I went for a spin in the grifter that I realised the effect the EPO was having. And then when Carmen beat Kelly Clare in the 99 final, she just bucked the lot into me. And hey presto, I won another Tour de France. It was a double edged sword opera. Killy Clutter's defeat of Erigel in 2003 saw a dip in Armstrong's form and he soon announced his retirement from professional cycling, despite being clean of illegal substances. A double for Carmen in 2004 and 2005 though changed everything. Just when I thought I'd gotten away with it all and Killy Clutter were top dogs, didn't Carmen win the left, left the next two titles? That sent me back and I was transfusing anything humanly possible, even shite. I was off the wagon big time and hence lifted another two Tour de France titles. Only for that double, I'd never have been caught. That wee brain Gormley bollocks has brought me here, Oprah. American heavyweight Oprah seemed uninterested and told him he should never underestimate Carmen and that she was a bit of a trillic woman herself. That's the morning news bulletin. Tune in again at midday for the lunchtime headlines from amongst the bushes.